Hey guys, I'm Cesar Milan and today I'm going to show you how to use the oldest tool in the world, the leash. Same leash, different size dogs, different breed dogs, same energy. The leash, in my opinion, is, is made for three things. To connect with our dogs, to guide our dogs, or to stop our dogs. Three things. There is three types of tools that human has invented to connect with a dog. The halters, the leashes, and the harnesses. The halter is more for beginners, which I highly recommend for anyone who's trying to teach a dog how to walk on a leash because it removes the nose away from the ground and it keeps the eyes focused in one direction and it only addresses the mouth of a dog. The leash or the collars are more for people that are more experienced and the harnesses are for people that are super experienced because the harness can also make a dog pull or track. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the leash, which is definitely my favorite tool. First step is I'm gonna show you how to use the leash. First, you need scent. You need some kind of smell, some kind of food that attracts all the dogs. Remember, dogs is nose, eyes, ears. So anything you want to teach, anything you want to present for the first time, or second time, or third time, or a hundred times, always involve the nose. I have different size of dogs, different types of breeds, because I want to show you that is what I'm going to teach is universal. So we're going to address the largest, the extra size, large size of dogs. And that's the Great Dane. Put the leash in, put the leash all the way in the top. Good boy, champ. You provide just a little bit. Oh, he wants a lot. Good boy. Then, I always say short, not tense. Put it all the way in the top. And you begin to move your dog. Now let's switch to a different size dog. Her name is Audrey. This will be the extra large, this will be the large. Good girl, Audrey. Now, same large size, different breed. Come on, bear. Let's go. Come on. Short, not tense. You only need two fingers. Good job there. Medium sized dog. Her name is Sophia. Good girl, Sophia. Hey. Now, the smallest ones. Alfie. Come on, Vincent. Vincent. They all have the leash in the same position, but I'm going to explain to you why it works so beautiful. The key energetically is they have to feel very proud of themselves following you. Good boy, Vince. All 
Another small size dog. Huffy. Same leash, different size dogs, different breed dogs, same energy. Good boy, Afi. That's a good boy. Those are our, our participant on how you learn about the leash. So you have your participant, different breed, different sizes, same state of mind. The state of mind is calm surrender, meaning they're attentive to learn, they're open-minded to receive information, and they're very willing to do whatever you want. So calm surrender is also uh, something that is very important before you actually put any tool on a dog. It can be a halter, it can be a harness, or it can be a regular leash. This state of mind, champ, come on, stay. This state of mind is your first step to have trust, respect, and love is what they need first to give you. This is for an object. So before you put this object, they have to be in this state of mind. Or before you put any object, in order for us to call it positive reinforcement, we want to reinforce that state of mind. We want that state of mind to follow us. And we want that state of mind to stop whenever they, we need them to stop. That way we maintain the trust, the respect, and the love. That's why I say the leash was meant for connection, guidance, and stop. Now I'm gonna to explain to you why I put the leash all the way in the top. Put it on the leash. To me, the leash, I always wanted them to feel like they're wearing a gold medal. So I always put the leash all the way in the top. There's three positions in the neck. Top, that's your best part very sensitive, so you, it doesn't require too much physical guidance. The middle, this is where you hear the sound, of, you don't want to be there. And here, this is where they pull. So can this leash help me create a harness? Yes. So when I roll a blade, the leash goes here. But when I just want to walk, the leash goes all the way in the top. It allows the nose to be removed from the ground the eyes to stay focused and feel very proud of themselves. That's why when you see people in the dog show, they have the leash all the way in the top. And when they stop, they always pull the leash up. They never pull the leash back. So this is your stop. And this is your guidance. And of course, you have to maintain a calm, confident, love, and joy energy so because your energy is transferred to the leash. Anything you touch, everything you say, however you feel, they're going to respond. And when, they are, and, when you, and when they're already attached to the leash, your energy is going to travel faster. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.